All right, man. Welcome back to another Hood Nature reaction. Uh, today we've got how a tiny cat dog took over the world. Now, Hood Nature provides nothing but absolute fucking bangers, so I'm pretty excited for this one. Also, before we get into this, man, hey, if you like the video, like the video. Yeah, it really does help push it out to more people, man. All right, like always, it's not wasting any more time. Just get right into this one, man. What the fuck? Say? What the fuck? What the fuck? Say? What is happening? Hi, Cleo. Hi. Dude, look at that. That's a fox. That thing is beautiful. All right, pop quiz. What is the most widespread carnivore on Earth? Out of all of those animals in the world. Wow, it is the fox, isn't it? Which one managed to spread further and thrive in more places than any other? This isn't rhetorical, by the way. Comment your answer. I'm actually curious. All votes in? Okay, good. It's the red fox. I don't know when it happened, but somewhere in the history of Earth, there was a subplot where the fox took over the world. And Let me just pause this real quick. The fox is one of my favorite animals, too. It's definitely top three. Fox, leopard, and one more. Probably like a tiger or something. have not let up since. Today, there's about 23 <coughs> flavors of fox seasoning. 23 this big flavors? Wine, with well over 40 subspecies on the roster. Oh, look at they them. are everywhere. They're so From cute, man. From briefing gardens in the suburbs, to pickpocketing polar bears in the north, to murking koalas in Australia. Trust and believe we gonna get to that. You can find some Vulpes variant virtually anywhere in the world that isn't the ocean or in Nice. Arctic. And the biggest flex of the foxes is the red fox. Despite being in the weight class of a small dog, no other mammalian carnivore owns more real estate. And even though they're invited to the carnivore cookout, technically they're omnivores, which means real estate. And even Damn, son, look, they're everywhere. Class of a small dog, no other mammalian carnivore owns more real estate. They're everywhere. Australia, very northern Africa, all over in North America. There's none in South America, though. All up here, all through, you know, Asia and fucking all that. All the way up here to, uh, to Russia. Wow, that's crazy. There's just none really in South Africa and uh, South America. And even though they're invited to the carnival cookout, technically they're omnivores, which means they eat, and I do not say this lightly, everything. Rabbits, rodents, birds, frogs, worms, fish, crabs, clams, insects, lizards, eggs, fruits, plants, garbage, cat food, dog food, carry on, and I don't everything. need the bag, wow. and actual feces. What the fuck's Literally a carry Literally the whole meal plan is, if it doesn't kill them first, they'll eat it. Foxes are also able to exploit the Earth's magnetic fields in order to catch bodies. You've probably seen this thing foxes do where they'll swan dive into a pile of snow. So cute. It's called mousing, and foxes are able to use magnetic fields as this to kind of internal GPS, and they cross to find a, that a mouse? Sense of hearing to figure out exactly where their target is and exactly where their land Bro, will hit. what? Foxes pretty much have a real life wall hack, and they're one of the few animals. Dude, what like the this. fuck? They're also smart enough to it's memorize insane. the migration patterns of certain species of birds. Okay, they that's know the exact insane. Time to pull up for free and easy protein. Yeah, that's foxes nuts. Also managed to figure out the same with some turtles, since timing it right after they lay their eggs and peace out means low effort omelets. Call that really a really true. And arguably, no place is around and found out more than all everyone missed that over easy pun i didn't just want to say i didn't miss that over easy australia because way back in the 1800s europeans airdrop red foxes to the land down under for the sport of fox hunting evidently the foxes weren't about to go down like that to the point where a couple is that what fox and the hound is from or no probably not years right? ago it's estimated that over seven million foxes exist in australia as a perpetual middle finger to the settlers that thought they'd be light work some unhinged foxes even learn to climb trees in order to snatch baby koalas. Look at them, they're so gliders, cute, bro. Proving that any animal that gets introduced to Australia they're will really so become cute. a problem. And now, foxes and feral cats are like the Kobe and Shaka put in native Australian animals on a shirt. That ability really to adapt true. means foxes are one of the very few Yeah, we watched the last time. They brought in they brought in cats to go fuck up um, rats or whatever the fuck. They wind up just destroying birds. That do better in cities. Killing their bird Not population. As well. Not almost as well, no. <coughs> better. Today, the highest density of foxes living in Britain are shacking it up in the city. In Bruh, some that's neighborhoods, wild. you'll find twice as many fox families than you would in the countryside, and 200 times as many than in some desolate moors. And even though they get straight up bullied by bigger canines, foxes don't rely on a pack structure the Look same that, way wolves do. And they have enough pretty privilege to dodge the smoke everyone seems to have for coyotes. True, also which is wild. Move like introverts. Mama Fox will go out of her way to clean the den area so well that the average person can walk right past it and not even realize there's a whole family underground. 
And just like with birds, foxes will study and memorize the schedule of humans in the area and only come out when it's least active. They'll even take advantage of garbage schedules so they know exactly when to come root through your trash. And they'll even take note of what times you Dude, often see so your smart, pets so that they can steal their share. And you may never even notice. Depending on where you live, you can probably count on one hand how many foxes you've seen in your neighborhood, even if you've lived around them your entire life. And look, Brother, I've never seen a fox. And they definitely gotta be around here, right? For them, they 100%. have to be just cute. 100%. Enough to not have to worry about getting their existence Run! Some of their There's predators. coyotes. Speaking of which, let's talk about the many enemies of the fox. You got wolves, coyotes, cougars, bears. lynxes, birds of prey, bears, wolverines, cars, and many, many more. Because the one bad thing about being a fox is everything on the census either wants to eat you or wants to kill you because you eat the same things. In fact, the first and sometimes last oh, enemy they'll make is. is their family. Fox cubs will fight their siblings off rip in order to establish a hierarchy. I and did not know Disney that. That's nice. I used to think it was. 20% of fox kids born will never leave the den. It's just straight violence out the womb. I can't even say it's on site since baby foxes live the Helen Keller experience for the first two weeks of their life. Lucky Holy for them, shit. foxes often mate for life and bring that up reference. their kids together. I mentioned this in the Father's Day episode last video, but fox fathers will hide food around the den in these little pantries in order to teach his kids how to find food for themselves. I want you to keep that I did pantry not know thing in that. mind. We're going to come back to that. Fox cubs have a couple months of a grace I period before they have one. to go out and figure out life on their own. Lucky for them, they're part of the most unfairly versatile group of animals you'll ever see. Like, did you know foxes can climb trees? No, I don't mean like fully scale that joint. The gray fox has been seen ascending over 70 feet up into a tree, and they're one of the few foxes that flex retractable claws, which allows gray Bro, foxes to what? avoid conflict with predators like coyotes. Go ahead and ask cheetahs how important that is. Tree climbing only proves that foxes are just Real and true, for man. Real and true. You ain't have to throw a cheetah diss in there, though. Like, we all know that you think cheetahs are pretty worthless, but... Or pretty useless, rather. Not worthless. Useless, but conflict with predators like coyotes go ahead and ask cheetahs how important Look that, at that ugly is. tree climbing only proves that foxes are just cat software marrying dog hardware a cat dog if you will and it shows that there isn't a lot of real estate on a earth cat that a fox dog. can't claim dude i love no this fox video proves so this far. more than my personal favorite the arctic fox yes this blue puppy has... dude, i'm so glad he brought up the arctic fox i saw one of these at the zoo like a couple months ago like a month and a half ago probably they're Zero so cute business man. surviving out here not only is it cold enough to get one shot by wind, the Arctic fox also has ops like wolves and polar bears to worry about. And since pretty much anything goes in Satan's ice rink, Look both of them will not hesitate to eat a fun-sized fox. And it really be your own kind, since another unlikely menace to an ice fox's life is the red fox. Because as small as they are, the red fox is still two to three times bigger than their snowy cousins. And yes, red foxes will 100% wow, and that. eat their weaker relatives if it means surviving. So you think it'd be curtains for any pint-sized predator that even tries well, out Well, I'm glad he censored that. that. Don't think for a second arctic foxes don't have their tricks, too. They'll strategically follow polar bears for miles just to clean off whatever they don't finish. We're talking about a house cat-sized fox slipping food from the literal biggest lamp. I mean, to be honest, that bear, like, this is a, a five-head strat. Because, like, the fox is fast, fast enough and quick enough to get away from the bear, right? So he'll never get caught by him. You could just forever follow him and then try to sneak things when the bear's like, ah, the bear like got enough food. He's like, ah, I don't really care. I already ate. You know I mean, so that's actually a five head strap by that fox, planet, man. While also managing to stay far enough to avoid getting their consciousness confiscated permanently. These baby face survivors will even resort to scavenging the polar bear's food, except after it's already been digested and taken the south exit. Yeah, they're that's, a different kind of potty mouth, but the Arctic fox has a secret disgusting. to never having to miss a meal. These Q-tip terriers have a pantry system. They hide, they yes. Food in a network of this is where the classic um, uh, fucking thing where the fox hides its food. This is classic, man. Absolute classic. Has a secret to never having to miss a meal. These Q-tip terriers have a pantry system. Well, they'll bury any extra food in a network of underground dens, which can stretch across 20 miles. And it's just forever that away. Keeps the Arctic foxes pulse going in the dead of winter. There was even one time where researchers uncovered a fox cellar containing 38 birds, four rabbits, and about a dozen eggs. Oh, it's hoarding on a thousand, but it's what keeps them your stepping death. That's massively hoarding. Holy shit. He had what? Hold on. Let me just replay what he had just stored. He just killed and he's like, ah, I don't need that right now. Let me just save it for later. Let's just let's just hear it one more time. Going in the dead of winter. Because that's just there was nuts. Even one time where researchers uncovered a fox cellar containing 38 birds, four rabbits, and about a dozen eggs. Oh, it's hoarding on a thousand, but it's what this motherfucker had 40 birds, bruh. Think about how big think about how big that cellar is of stuff. Like that's massive. 40 birds and four rabbits? That's massive, dog. And eggs too. 
This cotton colored canine has one more trick too. <coughs> Coming in all white helps the glacier jockey cosplay as a snowdrift. Yeah, it helps, him, helps him blend in. But once the sun finally makes an appearance like an absentee father on tax day, it, ch the longer day it changes its coat, which is really cool because I, I saw the Arctic Fox and, and it was black. It was like black and, and something else. It's because its coat changes. Daylight triggers hormonal changes, changes that causes them yeah. to change coats. They Which go from awesome. whiter than a party in the Hamptons to a thinner coat that matches the tundra. The and this is basically exactly what the other fox looked like that I saw. It was it didn't have the white though; it was pure black. But dude, it was it was basically like this. It was so cool, into. man. And it's all these abilities that allows the chameleon of foxes to live in one of the most unlivable places on Earth, and so does the smallest fox in the world. On the other side of the spectrum, the fennec fox survives. What the fuck is animals. that thing? It's the smallest canine in the world and could probably get body. Oh my god, dude, its ears are bigger than its head. One ear is bigger than its head. ...by a chihuahua. Those massive ears are good for three things. Increasing Hearing. their overall surface area to help keep them cool, the same way elephant ears do. Helping them pinpoint the insects, lizards, and rodents on its grocery list, even while they're underground. And for looking absolutely adorable doing it. Like I said, foxes are broken. Especially since fennecs can live off the moisture they get from food and by licking the dew from their dens. Not only that, but their kidneys are actually designed to function off very little actual water. Making this travel-sized fox one of the few animals able to survive in the desert without drinking actual water. Okay, and as a human, you tap out from life after about three days of a water fast. In fact, where the fennec yeah. fox may never have to drink at all, the average adult should drink about 48 ounces a day. That's just over two of these isn't that wild dude i don't drink nearly enough water and i guarantee most humans don't drink nearly enough water man you gotta drink some more water hey go drink some you know what i got water right here actually go drink some water bro holy make sure you put ice in your water too because if you're not drinking ice water you're doing it wrong i don't give a fuck you take you take water and you put ice in there right and then you leave it out for like five minutes, right? And then you'll get the condensation. You know it's ready when the condensation's on the outside of the cup. That's when you know it's ready. I promise you. I promise you. Which can often feel like a chore, but Arab's flavor pods makes it way easier. Oh, These this pods is... actually manage to trick your brain. This was a hashtag ad. Wow, nice. Way to throw that in there. It's about 80% of taste is actually dependent on smell. Now, I've never had a problem drinking enough water, but after deciding to try to cut down on sodas and juices, I can honestly say Arab is coming quick. Yeah, sodas and juices are just, I'll never cut down on it, honestly. As long as you stay fit enough, then you can keep drinking soda and juice and eating like shit. That's just how I look at it, you know what I'm saying? As long as I stay fit enough, then I can eat and drink whatever I want, man. Make sure y'all stay right, hydrated out there. Yes. Hydration isn't a problem stay for hydrated. a pocket-sized sand pup. Oh, and by the way, since their kidneys are always on desert mode, Fennec's fox pee is super concentrated and smells like pee-pee le -pew. And since foxes will pee on any surface, two hours with a fennec under your roof and your house will smell like a skunk orgy. So yeah, don't be confusing them for good pets. You shouldn't confuse them for a pale fox either. That's offensive to them. They look similar, but the pale fox is slightly bigger, has a smaller range, and is overall the less clouded dupe of the fennec. And if you take a quick trip a couple hundred miles down south, you'll find the bat-eared fox. Unlike the Look rest at of the that thing! Family, their wow! Their contains almost entirely insects, with that most of their protein cute. coming from termites. Look at Those it. satellite dish ears allows it to eavesdrop on termite affairs before it attacks them. They've even gone ahead and invested. Bro, you can hear termites? What the fuck? Man, that's nuts. Extra teeth to help with their termite terminating tendencies. Bat ears also acts on fox like by living in packs, usually made of a mating pair and their children. Kind of the they same. They live in packs. Wow! It's like a fox that slept through the lecture on how to fox 101. Which actually makes a lot of sense since technically bat-eared foxes aren't true foxes. There are 12 species that earn the title of true fox, and four of them we've already mentioned. The red fox, the arctic, the fennec, and the pale fox. Another true fox is the Tibetan fox. <laughs> Bro, look. Why does he look so mad, bruh? He looks, he looks like he's having a bad day, bruh. Look at him. Look how upset he looks. He looks mad upset, bruh. I can't be the only one who thinks this guy just looks mad, dude. Like, and the pale fox. Another true fox is the Tibetan fox. No, I'm serious. That's exactly what they look like. Like a reborn human realizing reincarnation ain't always sweet. Yeah. Old nature got drunk and tried redrawing foxes strictly from memory and then true. uploaded it as a dare. It's true. The only animal able to side eye you while looking you dead in the face. A picture's worth a thousand words, and every image of a Tibetan fox tells a story of apathy, indifference, and a splash of contempt. Now you might be wondering why this fox looks like an AI-generated Renaissance painting. 
So Bro, what the fuck was that thumbnail? This is the thumbnail that he used, and I might have to use this thumbnail also. Like, this this one is so good. I'm either going to use this one or, like, one of just, just an actual folks. But this one is so good, bruh. Like, that picture is worth a thousand words. I, that picture is worth two thousand words. Fuck it. Some say it's because their skulls are specialized for carnivory. I say God or nature, whoever did this to them, has a twisted sense of humor. Evidently, the Tibetan fox does not. Also, you know the whole coyote badger team up that we all love so much and can't get enough of? Apparently, the Tibetan fox has the same type of arrangement with, with a Himalayan bear? brown bear. No the shot. They got pika burrows. That's a pika. And force them to run on land, where they get chased down by the fox. The fox isn't the digger the bear is, but the fox has better foot speed, so like any true dynamic duo, they cover each other's weaknesses. Even if one of them looks allergic Dude, to Dude, I love when nature teams up like that, like, uh, crows and wolves, and, um, there's a couple other ones that I'm completely, forget completely forgetting right now, but I love when nature teams up like that, bro. That is so cool, in my opinion, dude. They're like, hey, let's just work together. Me and you, we work together, and then we can achieve an end goal that we can't achieve without each other. Like, that's so... That, I love it. I love. I just love it, man. It's better foot speed. So, like, any true dynamic duo, they cover each other's weaknesses. They're like Shaq and Kobe, dog. It's literally like I'm Shaq and Kobe. I'm going to more foxes real quick. We have Blanford's fox down nice. in the Middle East and Central Asia. They're easily the goats of foxes, able to scale anything short of 90 degrees and able to do the equivalent of a 10-foot box jump by leaping onto ledges. That's There's insane. the Kit Fox of the Southwest, also known as the San Joaquin Fox, and they're basically the American edition of the Fennec Fox. Oh, look you can't at forget him. about the Corsac Fox of the Mongolian Steppe and Central Asian deserts. Then you got the Cape Fox of South America and the slightly bigger Indian-based Bengal Fox. Look I was not guy. kidding, unless your neighbors with the cast of Happy Feet, there's likely more foxes in your area than hot singles just dying to meet you. Foxes come in nice so many one. forms that they even have types of foxes. Look at that. Silver, silver fox, marble fox, arctic fox, cape fox. Look at them all. Gray fox. Obviously the red fox is the is the most known. Look at them all. Look at all the little guys. Oh, there's a bunch of little guys. Look at the bat-eared fox. Oh, look at the kit fox. Look at this little guy. Look at the little guy. Oh, uh, look, see, here's the Tibetan sand fox. Look at him. He's just not having a good day, brother. They have their equivalent of a shiny Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the cross fox. It's actually this a thing, red fox with partial... This thing is so cool. What is it, red fox, silver fox? I'm, I'm guessing red fox, silver fox. That's my guess. Melanism. You know, the same thing that turns leopards and jaguars into black. The cross fox. It's actually a red fox with partial melanism. Oh, you know, the same thing okay. That, that makes sense. That Black makes a lot of sense. They're more yeah. common in Canada, where up to a third of the red fox population has this bimelanated alternate skin. And even rarer than them are silver foxes, which is just a red fox with complete melanism, gang. Because, yeah, red foxes aren't oh. always red. Like I said, foxes exist Look in many him. forms, but there's one final form not even they saw coming. So the always silver red. fox... Like I said, foxes exist in... Wait, so the silver fox isn't its own breed. It's just a red fox with extreme melanism. That makes sense. That actually makes perfect sense. To a third of the red fox population has this bimelanated alternate skin. And even rarer than them are silver foxes. Which is just a red fox with complete melanism. Complete, Because, wow. yeah, red foxes yeah, that's sick. aren't always red. Like I said, foxes exist in many forms, but there's one form not even Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Hold on. This went completely over my head, and I, and I, and I, uh... Realized it later. Watch what he does after he fucking pulls up the thing. Bimelanated alternate skin. Wait, wait. And even rarer than them this. are silver foxes. Which is just a red fox with complete melanism. Gang. Cause Gang. <laughs> if you don't understand it, I don't, it's just... I, I'm not explaining it, bro. <laughs> Yeah, That's red so foxes good. Aren't That's actually red. gold. Like I said, foxes exist in many Dude, the amount of little jokes and all the things he puts in here that just go over everyone's head, I guarantee is like about 50% of the little jokes he makes probably just go over people's head. I almost guarantee it. It's so one good. Final form not even they saw coming. Pets. That's right. There's a population of domestic foxes in the world as we speak. Isn't that a Basically, horrible idea? Knows this guy Dmitry Belyaev. A fox is a horrible idea cuz it like shits everywhere. It shits where in its den, so there's gonna be shit all over in your house. I think is what he said one time. Ask the question: they How shit did we in their go den. from this apex predator to a lap dog? So he and graduate Ludmila Trut tried to see if they could replicate the wolf domestication process of a fox, except with foxes. They created a fox go? farm with a hundred vixens and thirty males, and which foxes got to mate depended on which ones were the most tolerant of humans. 
the most human-friendly foxes fornicated, and this process repeated itself with the next generation. Essentially, that, in theory, sounds like it could work because you're just, you know, uh, I don't know the exact word, but you're picking out specific ones for that specific reason. You know what I'm saying? And only getting them, so you're passing down certain genes down to the next generation, on, on and so forth, until you wind up getting uh, the domestication of foxes. I'm really interested to see how this is going to work, though. Males, and which it's not going to work at all, right? Which ones were the most I mean, tolerant of humans? The I mean, we don't have domesticated foxes like dogs right now, so I'm assuming it doesn't work. Most human-friendly foxes fornicated, and this process repeated itself with the next generation. Essentially, they were selecting for traits that would make them the most fit for human companionship. And as the experiment yeah. wore on, the foxes went from not fearful of people, to tolerant of people, to actively seeking out people. Later generations would develop an affinity towards humans, sniffing and licking people, and even replacing the aggressive yips and shrieks with more passive whippers and pants. Aww. But what we weren't expecting was, as their personalities and attitudes towards people changed, so did their bodies. The more people-friendly foxes sported droopy ears and curled up tails, which is pretty different from the upright ears and downwards pointed tails of their wild cousins. And after decades of successfully playing God with foxes, we now live in a world where you can adopt and own a pet silver fox. Bro, what? Now here's the part of the video where I tell you why you ain't ready for that. Yeah, they here poop we go. Poop and pee everywhere. And there isn't a surface in the uh, house that yeah. can poop and pee everywhere. Yep, and they can get, they can get anywhere in your house, buddy. Pet silver fox. Now here's the part of the video where I tell you why you ain't ready for that. They yeah. poop and Wait. pee everywhere, and there isn't a surface in the uh, house they can't get to. You little shit. <laughs> they scream, especially at night. You'll be finding out what the fox says while you're trying to count sheep. Not to mention you're probably going to sacrifice furniture for their happiness. That combination adds up to a good chance you're up at 3 a.m. cleaning fox feces off the top of your fridge while cursing yourself for not just getting a hamster. You can probably find a way to make it work if you do the research and you're committed enough, but, and I'm going to say this as many times as it's applicable, here- This- this bitch needs to go to prison. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> I can't even. I can't even keep a straight face after saying it. Obviously, I'm joking. But what the fuck are you doing, bruh? Like, come on, man. You, what the fuck? It's not a crow. It's not a fucking uh, uh, parrot. Like, you're not a pirate. The fuck's going on here, dude? You don't just keep a fox on your fucking shoulder, homie. The fuck, man enough but and i'm gonna say this as many this times fucking as it's applicable, bitch. you're that willing to sacrifice your sleep sanity and social life for a screaming pooping derecho of a creature just have children because foxes are great wild animals but they can really be some mid as hell pets but that's gonna do it for this video friendly reminder that i do have a book out it's called 100 animals that can redacted kill you link in the description that can fucking end you go get it and if you're interested, shout out to Arab for sponsoring this video. Shout out to you all for watching this video. Yeah, Drink water. shout out to me for watching. Woo! Wear sunscreen. Touch and you for watching. Woo! Touch grass, hug your parents, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. In the next one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Happy birthday to me. Wait, what is your birthday, man? Yo, happy birthday to fucking hood nature, man. Holy shit. You're an absolute fucking legend. Hold up. Final clip. We got the final clip left. Thank you. Are you my porky potato? Are you my porky potato? Hi. Hi. And let the chaos yoink. begin. <laughs> Just yoinked it. Yoink. No shot. Hold up. Go back. This is great. This might be my new favorite video, bro. Are you my porky potato? Are you my porky potato? Yoink it. Yoink the fuck. Hi. Yoink it. Yoink it. <laughs> Mine. Man, Lamal, yo, hey, make sure to go subscribe to uh, to Casual G Graphic if you haven't already. Goddamn, what an absolute fucking banger, like always, man. Holy, holy, holy. <laughs> hey, yo, if you like the video, like the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you next time, man. Deuces.